Have you ever pondered the vastness of the Sahara Desert, an expanse so large it could contain the entire United States? Such is the grandeur of the Sahara, the world's largest hot desert, an entity that dwarfs many continents in its enormity. Stretching over an area of approximately 9.2 million square kilometers, or 3.6 million square miles, it is a testament to nature's ability to craft landscapes on an epic scale. The Sahara is not just a desert, it's a geographical marvel that paints a broad swath across North Africa. It extends its sandy reach into numerous countries, including Algeria, Chad, Egypt, Libya, Mali, Mauritania, Morocco, Niger, Western Sahara, Sudan, and Tunisia. Each of these regions carries a piece of the Sahara within their borders, a part of this vast, sandy puzzle that forms an impressive whole. Yet, the Sahara is not a monotonous expanse. It's a mosaic of varied terrains and vistas, each with its own distinct character. From the golden dunes that undulate like waves on a sandy sea to the rocky plateaus that rise like islands from the desert floor, the Sahara is a symphony of sand, stone, and sky. The desert's vastness is humbling, reminding us of our smallness in the face of nature's grandeur. Its sandy expanse stretches as far as the eye can see, dissolving into the horizon where the blue of the sky meets the golden hue of the sand. It's a sight that evokes a sense of awe and wonder, a testament to the staggering beauty that nature can conjure. The Sahara, with its vastness and variety, is more than just a desert. It's a world unto itself, a land of contrasts and extremes of harsh conditions and stunning beauty. It's a place that challenges and inspires that humbles and awes. It's a testament to the power and beauty of nature, a reminder of the world's wild and untamed places. A vast sea of sand and solitude, the Sahara truly is a wonder of nature's grand design. So, let us embark on this journey, exploring the majesty and mystery of the Sahara, the world's largest hot desert. Can you imagine a place where the temperatures swing from scorching hot to freezing cold within a single day? Welcome to the Sahara, a desert where the climate is as extreme as its landscapes are captivating. During the day, the Sahara is like a furnace, with temperatures often soaring above 50 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than a summer's day in Death Valley, one of the hottest places on Earth. But when the sun sets, the desert transforms into a frosty wilderness, with temperatures plunging below freezing. It's a stark contrast that makes the Sahara one of the most extreme environments on our planet. As we journey across this vast desert, we encounter an array of fascinating landscapes. The Sahara is perhaps best known for its towering sand dunes, some reaching heights of over 180 meters. That's taller than the Great Pyramid of Giza. These dramatic dunes are constantly shifting and changing, sculpted by the relentless desert winds. And then there's the iconic phenomenon of the singing or booming sand dunes. These unique sand dunes produce low-frequency sound vibrations as sand grains slide down their slopes. It's a hauntingly beautiful sound that adds an air of mystery to the already mesmerizing Sahara. Yet, the Sahara is not just a sea of sand, it also features awe-inspiring rock formations including plateaus, mountains, and rocky outcrops. Take, for example, the Tassili Najer Plateau in Algeria. This stunning landscape is adorned with prehistoric rock art, providing a glimpse into the lives of the Sahara's ancient inhabitants. Despite its harsh climate and rugged landscapes, the Sahara is a place of incredible beauty and diversity. It's a testament to the resilience of nature, thriving in the face of extreme conditions. The Sahara, a land of extremes, where nature's drama unfolds in the harshest of climates. So, the next time you hear about the Sahara, remember it's not just a desert, it's a world of extremes, a testament to the resilience of nature and a place where beauty thrives amidst adversity. Would you believe that amidst all this arid expanse, life finds a way to thrive? Even in the Sahara, one of the world's most inhospitable environments, pockets of life persist in the form of oases. These patches of green in a sea of sand serve as a refreshing reminder of nature's resilience. Oases are not just random occurrences, they're life's answer to the desert's harsh conditions, flourishing where water is present. These verdant havens are home to a variety of vegetation, providing a stark contrast to the surrounding barren landscape. Beyond their ecological significance, oases have also played a crucial role in human history. For centuries, these fertile spots have served as vital lifelines for trade caravans and nomadic tribes journeying through the desert. They've been the pulse of the vast Sahara, linking people, cultures, and economies across this massive desert. 
Even in the harshest of environments, life persists, making the Sahara a testament to nature's resilience. Did you know that the Sahara is home to numerous species that have adapted to its harsh conditions? From the humble cacti to the towering date palms, the plant life in the Sahara is a testament to resilience. These plants have developed remarkable features to conserve water and withstand the extreme heat. Some, like the Saxol tree, store water in their thick bark and wood to survive the long dry spells. Others, like the desert gourd, have deep roots that tap into underground water sources. Now let's turn our attention to the Sahara's fauna. Here, the desert is ruled by the king of adaptation, the camel, known for its ability to survive without water for days, and its humps, which store fat that can be converted into water and energy. Then there's the fennec fox, with its oversized ears that dissipate heat and excellent hearing to detect prey. The desert hedgehog too is a marvel, with its ability to curl into a spiky ball for protection and its nocturnal lifestyle that helps it avoid the daytime heat. And let's not forget the desert monitor, a lizard that's adapted to burrow into the sand to escape the scorching sun. But it's not just flora and fauna that have adapted to the Sahara's harsh conditions. For thousands of years humans have called this desert home. The Sahara has a rich tapestry of human history, with ancient civilizations like the Egyptians, Carthaginians and Romans having trading routes that traversed its expanse. Today, nomadic tribes like the Tuareg and Bedouin continue to inhabit the Sahara, living in harmony with the desert and its creatures. They've woven the desert into their cultures, relying on camel caravans for transportation and trade, and developing unique lifestyles adapted to their environment. So, while the Sahara may appear inhospitable at first glance, it's teeming with life if you know where to look. Each plant, animal, and human in this vast desert has a story of adaptation, resilience, and survival. From fennec foxes to nomadic tribes, the Sahara is a living museum of adaptation and survival. Are you aware of the environmental challenges the Sahara faces and the efforts to protect this unique ecosystem? The Sahara, a vast expanse of arid beauty, is not immune to the harsh realities of environmental challenges. Top amongst these is desertification, a process where fertile land transforms into desert, typically as a result of drought, deforestation, or improper agriculture. As the Sahara expands, it threatens to swallow up fertile lands at its edges, a phenomenon that's particularly prevalent in the Sahel region. The transitional zone between the Sahara to the north and more fertile lands to the south. Climate change, too, is a formidable adversary. The Sahara's already extreme temperatures are projected to rise further, which could exacerbate desertification and lead to more frequent and severe droughts. The impact of these changes on the Sahara's unique wildlife, many of which are already adapted to the edge of survivability, could be catastrophic. Human encroachment, driven by population growth and economic development, is another significant challenge. As communities expand into previously uninhabited desert areas, they disrupt delicate ecosystems and put additional pressure on scarce resources. But it's not all doom and gloom. Efforts are underway to protect and conserve the Sahara's fragile ecosystem. One such initiative is the Great Green Wall Project, an ambitious endeavor to combat desertification by planting a band of trees stretching across Africa. If successful, the project could help restore degraded lands, enhance biodiversity, and improve the livelihoods of local communities. Other conservation efforts include the establishment of protected areas to safeguard critical habitats and projects to promote sustainable land management practices. Moreover, scientists are working to understand the Sahara's complex ecosystems better to aid in its preservation. The Sahara, a vast desert under threat, but with our collective efforts, it can continue to awe and inspire future generations.